Good morning. You're watching the Margaret River Pro in the elimination round of competition, the round that you try to avoid. Reef Hazelwood was in that final. And also Ballaram Stack as we get things going with Jack Freestone on the right. A lot of foam on the face. Power snap off the top. Clean whip out in front. Third maneuver will shut that thing down. Let's have a look at the replay here. Kind of a, a frothy start to the wave. Connection with the lip there. I love that little tail tap drop that he does, keeping that pressure on the back foot, keeping those fins engaged. I mean, even just going to Wade Carmichael, he's still new to the tour, but he had two chances at taking a win last year, and he lost to Felipe twice. Where by the time he was in a second final, he knew he had another big opportunity. Here's Freestone, upside down on the attempt to explode on that first section. But Jack loves Sunset, loves uh, competing on the North Shore. So if he keeps a high seed heading into Hawaii, he's, it's almost going to be a shoe in to be a rookie on tour next year. Talk to Florence and say, what do you think about Jack joining the team? And he said, yeah, no worries. Let's do this. So now they can both work out equipment, get feedback at a high level, and make those boards better than ever. Here's Carmichael. Quick snap out the back. He'll set the rail for a little roundhouse. And just finally getting on the board. That'll be comparable to Freestone's over at the five range. And Robinson now finally has priority. Hasn't been a lot of waves in this heat, but, you know, that's that whole thing of focusing way too much on priority. Didn't quite connect on that maneuver. Now it goes a bit sleepy, so more transition turns. I think uh, Jack Freestone's going to have a little bit of an edge going into that first exchange. Which is great to see his rhythm and form. His rookie year really was stopped early by that knee injury. Weight up and out. Still feels like a sleepy town, but for locals, I say it's changed a lot with new restaurants popping up all the time, more people in the area. Traveling down the line with Jack Freestone. Fitting in is finished, nice and clean. Look at Freestone first, straight up and into it. There's some space for Jack Robinson to get started. Hard off the bottom, hits the lip hard. Jack attacking the end section and he'll sneak out of there. Finally getting on the board. Freestone had a healthy looking wall to work with in transition. How the speed well between turns. We'll look at Jack Robinson just swooping back. A couple little pumps off the bottom there to try and get some speed through the lip again, but he's doing a lot of work off the bottom and not really getting a lot of drop. Young rivalries of trying to take the spotlight of who's the best grommet in the West. Carmichael hits the lip in transition to a big closeout re-entry. So nice steady pace for the surfer from Avoca. Just trying to get something solid on the board. Needs a 2-4-1. What do you think, Potts? Yeah, I think he's going to get it, Joe. Um, you know, you look at the size of the wave. Good, solid wave there for Wade. Cut that turn short because he knew he had to fit that next maneuver in there. I like the fact Wade focuses on two solid maneuvers. You know, it's not a long wave. You can't really fit too much in, but I don't, I don't know whether that was mistiming or that was a planned maneuver there just to sort of kick the tail out and not really go full on onto that maneuver. Great finish, though. I like the way he gets that, creates that drama with that free fall drop to finish off that wave. That's a big story this year and just a few events. How the Australians want to make a big push here in WA to fill in some of those spots in that top 10 picture. Here's Jack Robinson. The wild card carves the first section, throw tail, reverse. And now to the third maneuver, slaps it shut through here as well. Let's go to Robinson's way. Yeah, Jack Robinson, a lot of energy as he comes off the bottom. I like the Cerny, I like the commitment to it. Beautiful rotation, came out nice and clean and then straight into that next maneuver. You can tell how fired up Jack Robinson is just by the way he surfs. There's a lot of energy involved, a lot of, a lot of work off the bottom. Watch how many bottom turns he does. Kind of keeps that board moving. He doesn't really like to set that rail and drive it off. He likes to keep that almost, I don't know, keep those fins sort of engaged. One, two, then he goes for his maneuver. So he cuts that bottom turn into maybe three or two or three stages most of the time. And I think what that maybe does to eliminates making mistakes. Wade Carmichael, a little bit of a different approach. You watch him, how he'll set the rail and drive off the fins into a big, beautiful blowtail. 
that score there is it going to go into his top two he's already got a, a solid score in his top two there with a 6.27 needs a better 2.50 on this occasion i think he might have done it joe nice power surfing from carmichael hitting the lip with the tail drift but does it with power and control i think they're on to a spot they know the cameras are on them everywhere <laughs> they go so their signaling is going to be a little bit harder to figure out yeah i I don't think they've got to worry too much about that, Joe, <laughs> to be honest with you. Thank you, Strider. Important ride here for Carmichael, trying to avoid a 33rd. Quick snap under the lip, over the roof on the second effort. Nothing left for Wade. Needing a 4.56 on that effort. He knew he needed a score, so he's got to vamp it up. Bang, big snap in the, in the pocket there. Nice, quick maneuver there from Wade. Could have maybe kicked the tail out a little bit more on that last turn. Maybe a little bit conservative on the finish, but the first turn, this is more like it from Wade Carmichael. This is the kind of stuff that we love watching from Wade, just those big, solid rail turns. And then right here, kind of gets it up and over the top. Needed to finish that off, yes. A little bit conservative, yes. I think that's right on the borderline, Joe. 4.56. Member needs a 4.56. You can see what the judges think there on the numbers. A 4.4 just under still a minute 20 to go carmichael's in trouble here comes freestone and he'll Ooh. fall in a tough spot on that shallow section solid one out the back robinson with priority and jack robbo is going to chip in here deep bottom turn foam climb hack right in front of wade big reconnection of the lip right there for jack robinson Taking a sizable set wave. Launched him into that one with some momentum for a two-turn combination. For a guy that missed the first round, for a guy that missed that qualifying round, Joe, I think he's done fantastically well to pick the game up and take down these two informed surfers. Well, we knew how heavy this heat was going to be with Carmichael being the top seed and a favorite with his power that he can bring to main break, but he's upset. Here by Freestone and Jack Robinson in the first heat of the elimination round of competition.